on guys, Swords here, and today we're back in the episode of Garage Edition. I just want to say that this is actually the part two of the fiberglass door build. But this video might seem like it's jumping around because it will. And I'm just going to give you a quick little overview of the video and why it jumps around. But I had the door panel fixed how I want it. Turns out the seat and the floor is up higher than I anticipated. I should have put the door panel in after I did it before I glued the uh, speaker rings on, which they can come off easy. I just got to have a plan. And the way it was, we was going to only have to be able to use two six and a half rings. I wanted three. I didn't think it was no use of building the whole door panel for only two six and a halves. With that being said, we are actually putting three on now and we're actually switching the, we're actually taking the rear seats out and putting two bucket seats back there. And we're also putting two in the front later, but that is why we're taking the back seat out. So this will not fit in a regular truck unless it's going to have bucket seats bucket seats are right here and I'll post up a better picture right now with that being said I'm going to start the video remember we're going to do bucket seats and I'm going to explain right here shortly what is going on but it will show working up to the point and the next video will be more put together I promise and probably the next video will show me taking the seats out getting them prepped because the door panels I wasn't going to put four uh, bucket racing seats in Colossus until summer, but this has kind of forced me to have to put them in the back at least. Nobody rides in a truck. It is a project truck, but I did want four seats, so that's why we're doing it. So, roll the video, George. Cheap primer. I'm not worried about. We'll just spray it just to see what, we, what it will look like. Now right here we'll send that down a little bit, but you gotta think this is just cool. this is not gonna show. We're wrapping over this. Alright, that will give us a better view of if this is gonna look good, especially when we put it on that black over there. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll bring the door panel over here and sit it on there. Alright. So we've got this mounted. I see that we need to do a little bit more to it, but we are getting it there. As you see, once we bolt the two here, it will be flush. Because basically, this is actually made off of that. So this is like just a template of the bottom. So still got use of the door handle. I mean, the armrest, door handles, everything like this. It just, you'll have three six and a half instead of just one six and a half. I don't know what I'm going to use in here yet. If you have recommendations, let me know. The mounting dip just has to be, you know, it can't be over three inches. Three inches is actually pushing it. Um, but like I said, I'm not building a base stump. I mean, we are probably going to put like, I don't know. We're going to put maybe two twelves. I was thinking about what was it, L7 kicker? I was thinking about one, one of those. I don't know what size though. Anyways, if you have any recommendations, you think I was thinking about going Rockford. My Super Ram is actually uh, Precision Power. Um, I don't really care for it. wasn't really what I wanted. I was want I want something that's got you know loud vocals and stuff, and I want something. And then the sub, if I do Rockford, I'm gonna have to do Rockford sub two because I want to be all Rockford. Then you can just start a little Rockford logo on there, like bam, balling. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this back off, sand it down a little bit, get a little bit better. But as you see, it is working great. It's fitting. Basically, I mean, like you bring your door panel in. Hey man, I love to have me a. Uh, Three to six and a half on here. And there you go. That's what it is. I didn't want to be able to, I didn't want to have to cut into this or anything. I know this is dirty. This is actually not scratched up. All right, so we got these glued on. They're three, uh, three inch mounting depth, two and a half inch dowel rod, 
three I mean three inch main depth from right here down I didn't want to stand out too far so you kind of get a look of what's going to be now these are going up like this kind of at an angle than that one right there so they're not like perfectly straight across because I didn't want to have them like that because there's not a lot of straight lines or anything on the truck so I just wanted I didn't want to go straight across is what I'm trying to say so we got that now next thing we need to do is actually mount this and we just hot glued these right now that's what I'll do I'll put the fleece over and then we'll go back in and actually fiberglass around them later on so I'll end up taking my panel and putting it like this now as you see that's what it's going to look like you'll have 3D and then right there. Now I wish all this could be speakers, but the back seat's gonna get in the way and I didn't want to get rid of the seat. So what I'm gonna do is, luckily instead of put this all back in Colossus, the Super Ram's the exact same thing. So I'm gonna glue this uh, piece on and then I'm gonna take it out, take just a pot, uh, the, the pod, whatever you, want, whatever you want to call it, the mold, and put it on Super Ram's door and we'll see how good everything fits and if it's going to do good if we need to tweak it a little bit before we actually go full force all right guys so it's the, the next current day um so we was having trouble last night it wouldn't fit or anything it was so windy outside and dark i couldn't really film well today we're actually in the super uh the super ram right now because colossus the door panels are still out and that's the truck it's really originally going to be built for but uh, this truck is exactly the same so we've this whole, this is supposed to be an easy install. This whole thing and build has like turned to a complete project, which I don't mind because project truck. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so here is the air door panel. The back seat in the truck, same as the other one. All right, see how it's close right there? Air door panel is up against the door all the way. Well, as you can see, it's hitting right there too. So that will have to come up. This will have to come up also so basically what we're going to do is in the other truck we're going to take the back seat out back seat that this will actually come out there's a metal big bracket under there it's actually come out so all this will be open here and from right here we're going to, if you can see it sorry from right here it's a bracket we're going to draw a line over here and then we can put another six and a half here we'll have three six and a halves so you're asking well what are we going to use back here for a seat here's what we're going to do for a seat you can see this i'm ordering these they are black and white leather kind of like they're bucket style seats and we're going to put four of them one two three four put four of it i'm actually going to order one i measured it if you watch my vlog actually measured uh measured it and the seat will fit in the seats are 21 and a half inches in length 36 inches tall 21 half inches wide and the backing is 11 inches and then the actual bottom before seats go up a little a slant or 14 inches and the whole seat the width of the top is 20 and a half inches so it'll be up here somewhere but we'll only have single we'll have just two back here and middle console going in between now i know we're supposed to have these door panels it's supposed to be easy well if we did have to build around this back seat it would be and it is going to be easy and i'm sorry it seems like we're getting thrown around a lot so bear with me we will get this done so basically can we uh, basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and measure and mark on this panel where I need everything to be, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one panel, because we're gonna take, I haven't ordered seats yet, I'll probably do it tonight, or maybe tomorrow or something, I haven't ordered a seat, but I'm gonna go ahead, we'll do a video of taking the rear seat and brackets and everything out of Colossus, I'll do a video of that, and then I would, uh, we'll fix the door panel, I still have to do the other door panel, I'm not gonna do it on camera, I'll just do one door panel and have the other one built, because that way, it, you know, um, and then we'll stick them on the door and see how they do. The door panels seem like they're going to be pretty good. You see, the only thing downfall is we've got this little rubber here. 
I think we can actually pull that back and it should cover that. Uh, if not, we'll have to trim down just a little rubber seal, but not the actual door seal that keeps the air out. All right, so we actually repositioned everything and it's looking pretty good. Um, down there it is clearing the door, I mean the ground. This is clearing that and you see down there we have where the hump is. We said we had to clear, that's clearing it. Everything looks like it's good. This bottom ring is actually, you can see it a little bit lower than this top one, but the two top ones are the same. That way you have like the bottom one drops down a little bit. I'm like how this looks. I think if everything works out, um, now the back seat will not fold down whatsoever. So uh, you try to fold it, it's gonna hit. And that is why we're going with the separate two seating back here. Now I am going to go ahead and cover this in fleece. That will be in a different video since this video is so, sorry for the wind, so jacked up. And again, I apologize for that, but if things happen, it's like, I thought I, well, I, I knew not to make it permanent. I knew not to do that until you find out everything's going to work. This is actually going to work, um, even if we don't have to take if we put the rear seats back here two seats back here and we don't have we don't want to take the two metal plates off the back we don't have to um because i'm not they they unbolt but we want to see what's under it first and everything but we the next video we will be throwing some fleece on here and resin them and stuff and we'll start sanding them and body working them so I hope everybody enjoyed this video. Again, I'm so sorry it was thrown around. It just, it, things happen and it was actually done. I have to do these videos in between work. So that's one of the reasons. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like and also push that subscribe button because we're gonna make some crazy stuff. Like, Colossus is gonna be hooked up. The Super Ram's gonna be hooked up. Um, anyways guys, this is George and I'm out of here.